Hello and welcome to On The Rocks Podcast. I'm your host, Nate Callens, here as always, giving you what you want to hear. Welcome to part two of my chat with Kelly from I Need Friends Podcast, where we have been talking about the new rules of concerts. It's, uh, their concerts are back. They're back, and uh, whether you like it or not, whether they're masked or not, whether they're vaccinated or not, they're back, and uh, with mixed results. Let's just put it that way. So uh, enjoy this part two of the episode, talking about the new rules of concerts and live events. Uh, you're going to learn some things, and you uh, should follow these rules. So please enjoy. Check out ontherockspodcast.com for all of our episodes. We've got like, this is our 56th, technically 57th episode because it's a two-parter. So if you have not listened to the first one, please go back and listen to episode 56. Enjoy. All right, I'm going to kick it off. Rule number four, we are not babysitters. I know this is surprising coming to a bar. You expected a babysitter, but we're, they're not. We Correct. get it. Social distancing sucks. Masks sucks. Suck. Suck. You're tired of washing your hands. Ugh, Ugh, happy who does birthday that? to who you. Who even does that? <laughs> After more than a year of isolation, all you want to do is lean in close and spew your spittle <laughs> on friends and strangers alike. <laughs> and people are actually into that. But it's Gross. been 18 months. You know the rules by now. Please. Please follow, follow them. them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, i love this question you have here <laughs> have you ever been spit on <laughs> by a stranger <laughs> <laughs> platonically we'll go platonically oh platonically okay well then no uh <laughs> it worked perfectly my plan <laughs> Oh gosh! Um, <laughs> have to clarify. No, I right? have, I have actually accidentally spit on someone before. Not How a stranger, but like you know, sometimes when you're talking, spit just spittle yep. comes out of your mouth. The spittle, <laughs> a little spittle. Right. Um. Yeah, a bit of a spittle. A bit so, of a spittle. Um, <laughs> never, never hurts until COVID, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. There was this guy. I think it was like in high school. And he had like really, really hairy arms, like gross, crazy like hairy. Robin, like Robin Williams level. And more, very and it was specific. Darker. Yeah, it was like okay, wait, more hair. arm hair and darker arm hair than Robin Williams. Yeah, it was black. I got to see a picture. I need a picture. It um, didn't happen otherwise. I don't remember. <laughs> not not right now, but name. <laughs> Let's see. Let me call them. Harry person, hello. <laughs> no, I was like, holy crap, she's gonna call. Like very excitedly, and I, I spit, and he sure. didn't, he didn't see it. I could see oh. the spit on, on his him? arm hair, oh resting God. there on his giant <laughs> arm hair, and I was just like, the what do I crop? What do I do? Do I tell him? Do I not? No. Like he didn't, he didn't Maybe. Even feel it. Didn't even touch his skin. No, because it's levitating on all that freaking patch. Yeah, patch of. It didn't make it fur. through the forest. It was just oh, a gorilla fur. <laughs> it That's was. He's warm in the winter, though. He, he doesn't must. need long time. So. And too warm in the summer. Sounds like. Yeah. Good grief. I don't. I don't want to see the bat <sighs> when he gets out of there. That poor guy. Oh, gross. That poor guy. I, I'm so glad. I'm. <sighs> This is probably too much information because we don't really know each other as well yet. I but, love too much information. It's one of my uh, favorite things. I'm not a real hairy guy, and I would, I don't know what I would do if I had like a really hairy back and chest. Just really gross. It's just, there's nothing grosser than that for me. Just a real yeah. thick hamburger meat hanging out of your shirt, you know, like, ugh. like Tom Jones, you know, Tom Jones. I think there's, there's a fine line with yeah. masculine body hair. Mm -hmm. And I used to not, I used to like no body hair at yep. all. And then somehow I just started kind of appreciating it a little more. Sure. I, don't, I still don't like a lot of it. So like my, um, my partner, Ron, I feel weird saying boyfriend. My a man like friend. <laughs> my, my life partner. My lover. Um, <laughs> he's kind of hairy, <laughs> but he's ginger. 
it's like it's okay. all really light. So he's just sure. got this. His chest hair is kind of full, but not too full. But mm-hmm. it's a nice. It's light, so it doesn't look all crazy. So yep. you can enjoy the like you know running your fingers through it without sure. being like, God, you look as I as I do enjoy insane. as we know. I know you you <laughs> love a good uh, chest hair rubbing. The so royal you, yeah. yeah I can I tell you. just by looking at you. You like to. I mean, it's pretty obvious. <laughs> Get a little nipple squeeze in there, you know, whatever. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. Just some um, guy on guy chest rubbing. Yeah. Back hair is, you know, it's better if it's not there. But if it's there, right. it's there. It's just there. As you a, can't. As a woman, yeah. I'm pretty hairy for a woman. There's okay. a lot of maintenance involved. Oh, so I okay. feel like I can't judge too much. Sure. With another body episode, hair, too. Even that's, though, a, like, that's another episode as well. We could <laughs> <laughs> as a woman, I'm just really hairy. Episode you know, seven. actually, <laughs> I have been thinking about doing because women get very self conscious about sure. their body hair. And so it's good to know that, like, yes, Other I people... too have to pluck mm-hmm. black hairs out of my chin. Okay. Right. It just everyone does. It just right? happens. So yeah. women have to do it. I don't know how, I don't know if your wife is a hairy lady or. No, no not really at all. Hairy. Yeah. Oh, so y'all just have, y'all have no hair in the house. I'm just a hairless dog over here. <laughs> 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 it's like my brother, like my, to, to bring my family into the mix, my brother and my oh, dad. Quinn? Yeah, my bro- <laughs> yes, my brother, my younger brother, Quinn. Uh, he's not hairy either at all. And like my dad's not. So it's like, it runs in the family, I guess. So I guess we're just blessed. Oh, oh, hashtag blessed. It runs in my family that all the women are just sure insanely hairy. Just, what's your, I, what's I, your makeup? Like what's your background? Um, well, I definitely from my dad's side, I have a lot of German. I'm okay. really white. Okay. I'm mm-hmm. super white, very yeah. European. Um, and then there's sure. Italian, Irish, of course. and Polish. It's the, it's, the, it's the Italian part, for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Italian. Yeah. And, and the Polish, too, right. I think. I think mm-hmm. the only thing that could have made it worse is if I had a little Ukrainian in there. Oh, and I had, like, yeah. a 5 o'clock shadow, I think. Yeah, by but, 2 p.m. Um, yeah. yeah, but I, we're, we're good. We're good. I didn't, yeah. don't get a That's beard. Good. You know, That's good, because just, that... I can't imagine as a woman how hard that would be to deal with. Like really, like truly, that would be really hard. It's a lot. Yeah. And I have really long legs too. So just okay. shaving. Just takes, sure. It takes twice as long. I heard. So long. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We don't need to get into it because I could actually no. talk quite extensively sure. about my separate hair episode removal techniques. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> they were different in the eighties with Nair. I know that, that those commercials for Nair in the eighties were, you slab it on and then you pull off. Do you know what yeah. Nair is? Or yeah, is that... actually, I've, I've used some Nair. I have. Sure. I actually have a wax. I have my own hot wax kit. Oh, so I'll do, high tech. Yeah. I'll do some of those. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll do my own little. Wow, but so it's cheaper than going. It, I I can't imagine. So you're German. <laughs> you're Polish. I'm one quarter German. I'm one quarter Polish. I'm one quarter oh, Belgian. Wow. And one quarter Ooh. Luxembourg. So. Half of what I am is some of what you have. So I would think I'd be a little hairier, but I mean. But you're not. Again, I'm not. So Somehow you missed it. <clears throat> yeah, somehow I missed it. I'm not really missing it, but I missed it. <laughs> well, I'm yeah. not sure how we got on this topic, but uh, you know, I'm. I don't know either. It. I don't know. <laughs> Who are we talking? We're talking about spit. Oh, spit the, the body the hair. hair. The the, that hair. guy's arm hair. Me spitting on him. Robin Williams yeah, times but... 10. Yeah. Oh, so, you know what? I do have a funny spit story sure. before we go, go on for it. to the next go one. For it. So yeah, yeah. are you familiar with high school musical? Uh, just familiar enough to know what it is, basically. You know what I, it I, is. Okay. I've never seen it, but yeah. So it was, I, my younger sister was watching it like when it came out. So I saw mm-hmm. it and the first movie, I didn't, I didn't hate it. Cause like I had to watch a lot of Disney. So I'm like, well, for Disney, this wasn't that bad. Cause my sister was always watching it. So mm-hmm. when I was like 15, I did a play, a community play, and I was Gabriella, the main girl in High School Musical. Oh, damn. And yeah, big it was timer. kind of fun. Big timer. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I did it with a bunch of 13-year-olds. I was like the oldest person <laughs> in it. It was nothing impressive at all. Nerd um, alert. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but the guy who played Troy, so we did this one scene that was like off the stage so that you know okay. we could do something while they were, you know, sure. switching stuff up. Mm-hmm. And we had this light right behind us. So we're facing each other talking and the, you know, the huge stage light is behind Mm -hmm. us. So the audience, you know, can just see all this light. He says something, I don't know what's going on, but like, while he's talking to me, the audience is just like laughing, like hysterically. And I'm like, this isn't a funny part, like at all. There's no humor here. Well, that, um, that uh showing or whatever got mm-hmm. recorded it was when we that oh, we no. had recorded out of the three performances mm-hmm. and so when i go back and watch it there's spit just flying out of his mouth with everything i couldn't see it right in front of me and also like, you know, like you're trying to get your lines you're not yep. paying attention you're concentrating to what's going on, on. Yeah. yeah and you just so i think I think the audience thought that was supposed to be happening. Oh, no. Because so it seemed, because you weren't reacting, they thought, oh, this must be the thing. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah. So I guess we, we weren't strangers, but we weren't friends. And sure. I guess he did spit on me. So, just spitting like crazy. So you got stranger spit on you, like, like it was meant to yeah, be. It was, yeah. it was more than spittle. I think. <laughs> when, when I went back and looked at the footage. With- I feel like spittle is just tiny pieces and spit is like bigger pieces. I feel like yeah. that it's technical. Spittle is just kind of mini little, little bit of the little droplets. droplets. Yeah, the, the COVID droplets. You almost don't even yeah. notice. Yeah, right. yeah, the COVID droplets. Yeah, the so. COVID droplets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so technical. Wow, that um, brings us to number five already. Not yeah, already. Yeah, this that, is that didn't you. make sense. Number already. <laughs> <laughs> One and a half hours, hours later. Two hours later. <laughs> Rule number five, Kelly, no free drinks. Seriously, just don't ask. Vinny's have been shut down for like 18 months waiting for this big moment. Just support them. Just buy the damn drink. That's it. Just buy the drink. Don't ask. Why, why, would, why would venues give you a free drink anyway? Have you ever been to a venue that where you didn't have any connections or hookups and they just gave you a free drink for no reason? I mean, you're a female, so maybe, but... Like, <laughs> <laughs> that was a terrible only, question only a couple of times though only a couple mm-hmm. times and no usually but i would never expect it i would never go right. to a place where you have to purchase things and expect cool. someone it. to give me something for free i'm expecting fully to pay full yes. price for this of course yeah if, i don't unless they own the place they're not going to give you free drinks if they don't know you like what the hell who does that Let's say like yeah, a exactly. thing for you or a crush on you or something. Yeah, or you happen. tip them really well and they want there you your go. money. Then, yeah. then they'll take yes. it from their owners. Right. And they'll be like, this isn't my liquor. You can have some more. <laughs> 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 so we have a discussion question for this, but I have another one, a pre-discussion question. Okay. Have you ever gotten a free drink from someone at a bar that works that you don't know or that you had no connection to? Like where there's like a bartender just gives you a free drink. Has that ever happened? Um, I want to say, I want to say yes, but I think it was like a long time ago. I know I've had like random people like buy me drinks at bars, like the bartender be like, oh, so-and-so, so-and-so got you this drink. That guy with the molested glasses in the corner gave you a drink, buy you a drink. Yeah. Yeah. And you're like, joke's on you because I'm just staying (laughs) right over here. So maybe you should have asked first, Um, but I will drink this drink. Thank you. Sure. Of Um, course. (laughs) But no, just a bartender, just be actually, no, I have because oh. so when I was like going out by myself a lot, I would go to bars kind of late, like after a show, mm-hmm. I'd be like, well, I want to get something to eat. I'm not ready to go home or whatever. Right. And so you talk to bartenders when it's like kind of slow. And so mm-hmm. then they'll be like, oh, I've been trying out this drink. Like you should try this. Or if you're just really cool, then they end up, you know, oh, I didn't charge you for this drink. So you didn't know right. until after the fact. After that you, got you it thought free. you were going to pay. Yep. That makes yeah. sense. Yeah. So, that, I mean, but, perfectly, perfectly fair. Perfectly yeah. fine thing to I do. I wouldn't say that's like no reason though, because you are talking with this person. And right. Establishing some kind of, so I guess yep. that, that's not really for like no reason. It's There's not just like an unwarranted, an unwarranted drink. Like, here you go. No strings Surprise! attached. I don't know you. Like, yeah. <laughs> this yeah. one's free. I've got an accidental drink, like one that sure. got made that didn't need to get made. I love that. 
So, but that's technically that's a reason. Yeah, that got that's made true. For someone, it, it was a mistake. It's like so. either it would have went down your gullet or down the drain, you know. So yeah, and then gave down the drain later once it passes. Correct. My system. The human, so. the human process of uh, the human of, drain. Of, uh, yeah, <laughs> the human drain. Episode seventy-two: The Human Drain. <laughs> That sounds disgusting. <laughs> it's so gross. It's like the human centipede, only it's the human drain. I don't Ew. know what that means. It's where Never they're, seen they're it. peeing in each other's mouth. Instead of. <laughs> <laughs> it's connected to the urethra. Yeah. <laughs> into the nostril. Like. <laughs> P.S. How did human centipede ever even get made? Like, what? Who, yeah, so who read the script and was like, yeah, I want to... Screen like that. This do this totally. movie let's get this going actually i it. know god i know a few producers i could call <laughs> right now billy i just lit. read billy. ass to the mouth <laughs> yes yes it's exactly what you wanted i found the script you people are clamoring up. for it <laughs> yeah bastards it's so weird oh, i never god. watched it though no i didn't either I'm i just i heard about what it was i was like i don't know i'm not into that at all I read so, about it. I'll read the synopsis on like films. Yeah. Like, um, mm-hmm. what is that? What is that one like snuff film? It's like August Underground or something. Oh, I don't know what that is. It's, oh, it's huh. it's uh, you don't you don't want to know. It's no. it's like this indie 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 film. That's is like, it real? Do they do they think it's real? Do people think it's real? It's supposed to it's supposed to look like it's real. Apparently, Charlie Sheen thought it was real. What? Um, well, if Charlie it. Sheen thinks it's real, Mr. Tiger Blood himself. Um, must be. From what I've seen, I've only seen a couple little clips that weren't any of the gruesome parts, um, which okay. were disgusting. But from what I see, it looks really real. If someone had showed it to me, really? I would be like, I'd be like, this is, are you sure this is fake? I think someone just oh, told geez. you it's fake and it's real. But no, it's, it's fake. That's... But is that worse? Is it worse that someone like went through Thought the of that? Of putting and this together it. and making it a reality or someone being God. that deranged that they just do it like which I don't is know. more deranged i always wonder things like that like i think about like the stuff that you know writers come up with like stephen king like his stuff's not real gory but like where the hell did half that stuff twisted. come from like it's Gerald's twisted game you know right yes great it's movie pretty, but yeah like, it's so twisted yeah like although i don't know because i i can write some pretty like freaky stuff sometimes Sick stuff yeah like, well that was where did that that was from? brutal what, kelly like what depths of my brain did that come from yeah exactly yeah, but then also you know stuff. like when i was 10 years old like i would have dreams like people would die and like oh. their brains would be spilling out and i'm like how do i know what that looks like i'm 10 Weird. i've never seen this how do i have wow. this image were you watching like usa up all night like horror movies back then or what, what was no because i was so like jesus seeing christian then i thought sure that, I thought that demons would use anything scary or evil to try to oh, access me. Like nothing was, so off, was off limits. Yeah. So like I didn't believe in monsters or anything, but I believed mm-hmm. and I was taught that demons could come to me in the form of those things. Oh, shit. So essentially that they are real and that I have to be mm-hmm. afraid of them. So no wonder right. I have insomnia now. <laughs> no wonder. It's, it makes total sense. Wonder oh, that's crazy. No wonder. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. So, oh yeah. Uh, start- <laughs> tangents. I love tangents. So we, I mean, I've always gotten on tangents. <laughs> I'm so, I'm really good at them. <laughs> me too. It works. So rule five, no free drinks. Uh, what's your favorite drink at a show? Like. So if I'm show? at a show, I, I usually want to go with like a beer and I'll go with a lighter beer. I mm-hmm. won't do like a porter or a stout at a yep. show. It's too heavy. So yep. I'll go with like a lighter beer, something not too hoppy. I don't like IPAs. Mm-hmm. Um, right. yeah, I don't either. Or, IPAs are overrated, I think. They, they're, they're just so not, overrated. They're just not that people good people really like them? I feel like people are like, so. oh, this is delicious. And then their head, they're like, oh, I hate it, this. Ugh, but I'm I think it's just drinking it for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to tell people to drink IPAs and then I like them. But I just don't think they're yeah. good. I've never had one that I liked. It's like. I like it. Yeah, like, like this like, is the Wilchester Glen IPA. Like, <laughs> wait, is that real or did you make that up? They only brew in the mornings. No, I just made that up. I think it's a street name or something. No. Wilchester Glen. I like that. <laughs> I feel like that could be an episode too. Wilchester Glen. And then, then don't even refer to it in the episode. 
Just call it yeah, Wilchester Glen. Wilchester Glen. No they got to figure it out. You got to listen. Yeah. They'll be like, if you want to know. They didn't even talk about, I was waiting for them to talk about Wilchester Glen. That's my favorite IPA. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I also really like whiskey. Yeah. So I'll do like, you know, whiskey and Coke. I also really like whiskey and sweet tea. Oh, shit. Delicious. I don't think so I've ever had that. So you don't get the, the heavy, like, carbonated. It's mm-hmm. still a lot of sugar, but you don't have all that weight yeah. in your yeah, your a, a whiskey sweet tea sounds good. Yeah, I like it's a Jack. Delicious. Delicious. To me, yeah. I'm gonna try it. There's <laughs> nothing like to me. There's nothing better like than a, just a classic Jack and Coke. Like, oh I like it, yeah, I like Jack a Jack and, and Coke, Coke. Is so just, good. Just crisp and clean and just classic. Mm-hmm. I love it. But yeah, especially uh, if you measure it and actually do like you know 1.25 yep. ounces like yep. in a rocks glass and yes get that mm-hmm. perfect jack to the coke perfect ratio. the perfect ratio it's all about that ratio for sure oh man so good yeah yeah it's good but like just a sip and like for a sip and whiskey i like uh you know i like uh gentleman jack's great as a sip and whiskey like the upper level of jack daniels yeah Gentle- gentleman jack that's good to sip there's this other one called is that their keep- single barrel one the gentleman jack or is that something else really or is it just it might jack be. daniel's single barrel i don't Maybe. know actually but the gentleman jack it's, smooth, it's smoother though. it's smoother yeah, yeah. i want to call it the daniel craig but that's not what it is not the actor that's james bond elijah craig <laughs> <laughs> there's a whiskey Shout out to Brett Ramstead, who I used to run against in high school in track and Brett cross country. Ramstead. Brett, Brett Ramstead, like everybody. Beat Brett. You lost <laughs> no. the track. Brett, Brett was always. No, shit. <laughs> well, the truth comes out. The truth comes out. Brett Ramstead was always faster than me, but I'm probably faster than him right now. Damn so. it, Brett. There you go, Brett. Yeah, he's smoking uh, anyway. now. We'll do like a Seinfeld style race, you know, right? 20 years For later. Sure. 20, yeah. <laughs> So Brett Ramstead, he posted about this Elijah Craig whiskey. It's it's about a $25 bottle, so not too bad at all. Just really smooth. But I haven't found it at, at all the places that I've been to. But uh, I just kind of buy whatever's good and on sale. Like, uh, for example, Knob Creek was on sale last time. The time yeah, before that, Knob it was Creek Bullet. Was it was Bullet Bourbon. So I like that too, you know? Oh, Bullet's good. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Shout out to Bullet. Shout out to... Gentleman Jack, uh, Knob Creek, all completely yeah. free promo right here for our 15 I'm gonna listeners. Have to, I'm going to have to throw in some Woodford Reserve. Oh, that's the other one. Yes. That's another good one. That yes. one's great for Manhattan. So good. I think. It's if really good in mixes. I'm having a Manhattan, I want Woodford, yep. Woodford mm-hmm. Reserve. That's so good. So, like for yeah. me, my favorite drink at a show is usually just, like you said, a light beer. Um or just like not a dark beer, basically anything but a dark beer or an yeah. IPA, not an IPA. Something I can yeah. drink and um, cause, yeah. cause they go warm so fast. I drink them faster. You know how to show it's always yeah. like, yeah. So I like, I like more regional beers here and I don't know. You've heard of probably line and Kugels by now. Uh, where you're oh, at. Yeah. yeah. Cause that, that's like a summer Wisconsin shandy. beer. Yeah. Summer Shandy classic in the summer, obviously. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> But they've got a, oh God, what is it called? I haven't had it in so long. When I go to baseball games, I always get it. And it's their, it's their darkest beer. Oh my God. I'm so blanking right now, but shout out to Line and Kugels from Triple Wall Falls, Wisconsin. <laughs> oh my God. I can't remember. I haven't been to a ball game in so long. I don't remember what it even is. Anyway, I like that at baseball games. Oh, wow. um, and then if I'm at home, I like uh, just a whiskey Coke or just a whiskey also, when I'm out, like if I'm out to eat or like at a nice, nicer place, I get um, an old fashioned just to see how good they can make an old fashioned. Yeah. I mean, see, do I want to prefer... be Don Draper? Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I mean, I'm wearing just maybe I'm wearing not old with all hat. the things that he says to women, but other correct. Than that. Yeah, he's just like so cool, you know. More like the, the, the suavecito, you know, part yeah, of it. Uh, like, exactly. He's super smooth. You know. For sure. Yeah, yeah. Smooth yeah. like the whiskey. Smooth but... like the whiskey. So, uh, segue, <laughs> speaking of drinks, uh, the next rule is, I don't remember, Kelly, what is the next rule? Oh. Number six. Oh, I think, is this one me? Is it? I don't remember. It's been so long since no. we read one. Did you? No, no free drinks? Yeah, I think you, I read the, you no read the last one, right? Yeah, yeah okay. so you're number six. So, yeah. rule number six is, all right. Okay. We're going to get into this one. All right. We're going to get into Tip it. Tip your bartender 
20 percent is okay 25 <laughs> percent is better more than 25 percent is best anything sure. under 20 percent is a non starter non starter okay First- look that one's a little aggressive for me yeah I right think. was it was like it aggressive the- I think the other ones needed to be, you know, very punctual and direct. Mm, But when mm -hmm. you're talking about, when you have a business that Mm -hmm. is telling their customers to tip. Yes. You're basically saying, you better pay my employees because I'm not gonna. (laughs) Yes. Thank you for acknowledging that. Right? Like, really? Hold on. Why is that that burden on me? But th- thank you. Like 20%, like I get that. I was a server for a very mm-hmm. long time. I went to yep. massage school for a short time. You're even oh, supposed to tip your massage therapist. Of course. I don't yeah. even agree with because basically you're any service pay for the massage. Right. But you but pay if, so like when different. you get a massage. Oh, go ahead. What if what if sorry, what if they own the business though? You don't tip them then. But if they're just some That's person working for a business. Then you're expected to tip them, correct? Is that is that what you think? I is mean, that... it's re- you're really supposed to. The etiquette is that you're supposed to tip them regardless. You're always supposed to tip right. your massage therapist. Right. That's what massage okay. therapists believe. Even if but, they own their own practice. Yeah, having <sighs> done that, I don't agree because I think you're you're already paying for this. I'll do it. I'll tip. Yeah. Same thing with getting mm-hmm. my hair done because they're expecting right. it, and so I yeah. know going into that place that they're expecting it. Yeah. So um. So, you know, obviously I'll, I'll do it because that's how things should work. But right. um, it's it's like if you go to get your hair done, you go to get a massage. Well, you just paid for that. You paid for yeah. that service. So why am mm-hmm. I paying you more? It's like, I can understand going out to eat, even though you can yep. just work it into the price. It's like yep. you pay for the food and then you pay right. for the service. Mm-hmm. So I can understand that more. But 20%, that's a fifth of your that's bill. Yeah. That's sufficient. You don't need to ask your customers to do any more than that. I usually tip, you know, 30 to 50% because I've been in the service industry. So it's just what I like to do. If it's a higher bill, obviously I'll go to 20% Mm -hmm. because I'm not made of money. But if my bill's like $15, I'm going to leave you $5. Because if I was at your table for an hour, I think I should give you five bucks. Right. But, you know, but that's, that's totally voluntary. And that's on me deciding like, Hey, it's That's not going to hurt is... me to throw three extra dollars down for this right. course. And so I'll do that because I already spent $35. So what's 38? What's yeah. But what's you as a business telling me that I, I have to pay your people I'm expected for to. you. That's weird. Get out of here. Like, yeah, no. no so do yeah, you have a... like, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> no, you go. I've been rambling. You go. <laughs> you, but where, where you live, do you have, do servers have, do they get minimum wage or do they get a lower wage than minimum wage? 213. What? So 213 an hour. So huh? yeah, see, usually you usually don't get a paycheck. Your paycheck's usually zero. Anything that would have gone on your paycheck has been taken by taxes. What? Yeah. I thought it was bad here. I think people here get paid like 325 or four dollars or some bullshit. Oh like wow, that. that sounds incredible. <laughs> So where you are, it's two thirty-five for a server's wage. Two thirteen. Or two thirteen, I mean. Yeah, what? I mean maybe it's gone up a little bit since I, but it's still like under three dollars. You so, might get a couple places here and there that will pay a little bit more, but for the most part, uh, yeah, how it's has, crazy. How has the tip culture got that out of control? Like back in the day, I, I feel like tips were like if you went above and beyond, but now it's expected. Like if you have terrible yeah. service, mm-hmm. you shouldn't have to give a tip, but you feel like you have to because you're only making two dollars an hour, three dollars, or four dollars an hour. Yeah. Well, I think wow. I will say though, with if you get terrible service, you still got some. Like your food was brought to you, your drinks yeah. were brought to you. Assuming that at least that happened, the you didn't have minimum. to do it yourself. So mm-hmm. you know, and then also like, but if you don't work in a restaurant and haven't for a long time, you don't know like why you might be getting bad service. So I can look around a restaurant if I'm getting slow service and I can most of the time tell like, okay, 
it's just the whole restaurant or mm -hmm. my server is just being lazy or oh, whatever sure. or yep. isn't paying attention. I can't say for right. sure that they're being lazy. lazy. I can't make yeah. that judgment, but it appears to me that they are. Um, mm -hmm. You know, you can tell like, okay, I'm getting bad service because the kitchen's fucking up or because they're right. just way too busy or I watched them triple seat this server. So I'm not going to get the best service because the hostess gave them too many tables at one time. So I, I'll make exceptions for that. But if you don't work in a restaurant and you're not familiar with how that stuff works, then you might not have any idea why your server isn't around as much. Right. So it's, it's purely situational. I feel like too. Yeah. On, on something like that. Is, yeah. Just just kind of getting a lay of the land and what the server's up to. And if they're standing around just twiddling their thumbs or if they're actually like busting their ass too, I feel like yeah. if they're twiddling their, twiddling their thumbs and not coming to your table, then they're not going to get very much from me, no matter how much or how little they're making per hour, you know? Right. Yeah, exactly. Cause you're like, why can't I like, you you're know, like, I came here to get something yes, too. And, I don't want to pay and, you for more than what I've got. Right. And if you're Which not is, giving me good service. That's also fair. Right. So, I can't blame you for that either. Right. So, Ugh. but yeah, but uh, the, the business itself telling me to, telling me to tip their employees, yes. to pay them more <laughs> than a fourth yes. of what my bill is. Right. 25, it's... more than 25% is best. Are you yeah. serious right now? Pay your employees <laughs> more. Yes. Pay them pay more. Pay them more. And people and wonder why there's. Can't, Go ahead. Sorry. No, you go. <laughs> and, <laughs> and people wonder why there's a worker shortage right now. It's because everyone that worked these shitty jobs got other jobs during yes. COVID. Thank like, you, Nate. Duh. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I don't they feel had sorry. to go get something else. They're not yeah. going to go back. I don't feel oh, sorry I really for this. I miss being mistreated at my job. Yeah. And not having any benefits. I don't, I'm sorry, Panera. I'm sorry, Panera Bread. You can go fuck yourselves. You're paying, you're yeah. charging $8 for a bowl of soup, but paying your workers nothing and giving them no benefits. You wonder why you have to close for three days out of the week. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> exactly. But, on, oh, but your CEO got another bonus. So at least Probably, they got right? that. Yeah. They can get their heated floors and now they get to keep their butler. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> their heated floors. I love that. Fuck you. God, I was bread. so worried about them. You know, someone's so going to lose their house, but yeah. you know, I'm worried about Panera Stephen Bread's Wellington CEO. the third might lose his <laughs> Rolls Royce. So <laughs> these, these made up names are great. Stephen Wellington the third. What an asshole. That's a PH Steven, obviously. Yeah. It's not a V Steven. Obviously. <laughs> yeah. He's too uppity for a V in his name. Good exactly. grief. That's not Rule fancy, seven. <laughs> and we digress. Rule seven, support the scene. Hey, can't make the show? No problem. It costs exactly zero dollars to support us in other ways. Share the posts, listen to the music, invite your friends to like the to the event page. In order for this to work, we need all hands on deck, which I fucking hate that saying, all hands on deck. I had an old boss uh, at Jade Presents. I'm going to name him. I'm going to name him right now at Jade Presents, Jay Nielsen, my old boss at this promotional promoter, promoter in town, Jade Presents. He promotes concerts and comedy. It was all hands on deck for certain concerts <laughs> where, where, he, where that guy didn't pay us extra for the shows that we worked anyway. Uh, so yeah. So support well, that's the because scene. you had all hands on deck. So all, you know, all of you guys a, collectively. Yeah. Not just if a few hands If it was a few hands, hands, on, deck. hands on deck, you'd need extra money for all that. Correct. Exertion. Correct. But when it's all if hands on deck, all none of them hands. get paid extra. Just to be yeah, clear. <laughs> it's a lighter load. It is. So <laughs> So for the supporting the scene, what's the last band you support online by sharing or inviting friends to a show that you can remember or promoted somehow or shared the event or talked about a band that you like that's like a like a local uh, scene band? Oh, um, just uh, earlier in mm -hmm. the show. <laughs> Four hours ago. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. Sometime this afternoon. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Before but, school got um, out. Yeah. <laughs> Lunchtime. Um, yes. No, actually, I don't know. I've been so just like out of the game. So like 
ever since I yeah. started my podcast and then like the consignment store thing, which was a little bit mm-hmm. before my podcast, I haven't been on my personal social media. So I haven't been keeping sure. up with like the bands I normally see and like liking their shit and spreading yep. it. But that makes sense. So I don't, I don't even know. How dare you? First of all, just kidding. <laughs> you got to do your own thing, right? You, you got to do your own thing. The vocal I, no, I'm for not. me. For me, it's basically what I talked about before is that the DESA show I was talking about, the Lunch Aid North Dakota show, um, which Lunch Aid is actually an organization in town here that helps feed people who need to eat. So it's uh, awesome. for, yeah, whether it's uh, kids or adults or whoever, it doesn't matter. It's, it's an organization that uh, raises funds to help uh, feed people. So uh, we're doing a fundraiser right now and it's going for the next about a month or so. So so if you're listening out there, you want to help someone help feed people, uh, go to Lunch Aid North Dakota on Facebook and uh, do what you can. We're, our goal is 25000 We're at about $10,000 right now. So getting close to the halfway point, which is cool. Uh, and again, I designed like social graphics and the poster for that, for that uh, show, for the Dessa show. And um, yeah. Whatever I can do. I think to help. that's awesome. Yeah, that's really it was. Cool. Fun. I'm like, it was cool. Something that I believe in. I mean, obviously, people should not yeah. go hungry if you can help. Uh, do so, you know. So that's yeah, the everyone should huh? should get to eat. No, I'm not that. Right? You know, John Smith. Those who do not work <laughs> do not eat. Like, yeah, right. No, what everyone needs yeah. food. Everyone like, needs you that. Deserve to eat. You exist, sure. therefore, you deserve food. It's as simple Correct. as that for me. <laughs> it helps you exist in turn. Yeah. 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 I thought, so, yeah. aren't we, I mean, <laughs> pro we're, all life. On, <laughs> we're all on this planet together, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah. I'm just trying to survive. So, but yeah, moral of the story. Is that what you do the cycling the thing for? Yeah. That one, that cycling is for um, another organization, uh, the Children's Cancer Research Fund. It's for the uh, oh okay. Great... I thought that was something about cancer. yeah yeah. It's for the uh, Great American Cycle Challenge is what the event is, and it's for the Children's Cancer uh, Research Fund. So, so yeah. So right now, uh, God, I've... my goal is fifteen hundred bucks. We raised a little over six hundred so far, and it goes through the end of September. And uh, if you would like to help, listener, uh, it's go to bit.ly slash ride with nate so bit.ly slash ride with nate yeah that's that nice that's <laughs> so awesome I've, that you're doing that stuff it's a lot of fun it, I've, I've biked about 70 miles so far on a couple three or four done like four rides so 70 miles my goal is 300 and my money goal is 1500 i think i raised 1600 last time last year so I, my goal should be higher than 15 since it was 16 last year so yeah give what you can People, yeah, so now you got to get 17 or at least 17. 1601. 1601 is the goal. As Actually, right we'll, we'll take 16. I'm going to speak on behalf of Nate here. He's willing to take $1,600 and one penny. And okay? one penny. Just yeah. to exceed last the 1600 year. of last year. I had to close the shade here because there's probably perverts looking in the window at me. They probably are. They're like, what's he doing on his OnlyFans? It's like, nice. What's that sweaty guy with the old man hat and the headphones up to? <laughs> Someone <laughs> get him problem? some dry saw. <laughs> <laughs> Someone get him a life too while you're at it. <laughs> Who needs so this brings us to number eight. Already? No, not already. It's been three, four or five hours. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> People can split the episode up if they really want to. It's fine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, come back to it. Take a break. Do the little um, Monty Python intermission. Right. <laughs> might as well. <laughs> Heck, might as well. Um, gosh, are we, we're on rule number eight already? Eight. Is this I mean, eight? already? Is question mark? Number seven? I did. Okay, yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> That's fair. Um, yeah. yeah. Did you read the last one? I don't even remember. Uh, yeah, I think so. Support the scene? Yes. It costs zero dollars. Oh, yeah, because I did yeah. the, the tip. Right. One. Okay. All right. Rule number eight. <laughs> I can get on board with this one. Be I like kind. This. Look, it's been a while. We're going to be a little rusty. 
Plus, so much of what needs to happen in order to bring back live music safely is new for all of us. Fans, venues, promoters, and artists alike. There will be hiccups. There will be lines. There will be unforeseen circumstances. Wah, wah. <laughs> be nice anyway. Shit's gonna happen. Just Shit's fucking gonna happen. Be nice. If it's happening to you, it's happening to everyone. So. It is. You're so wise, Kelly. You just made that up right off the cuff. Right off the yeah, cuff. Yeah, it's I'm gonna get that oh. as a tattoo. If it's happening to you, <laughs> it's happening to everyone. <laughs> Words to live by. Oh, oh that's I lost funny. You again. Oh, oh, you're still here. You, you still got me. Oh, there you are. <laughs> <laughs> the camera lost. Actually, I didn't, lost I didn't you. lose you. You lost me because I could still see you. Correct. That's what I, yeah. Your camera it's, is apparently properly mounted. Rock like, solid. <laughs> my camera consists of the one that's built into my 2012 MacBook. <laughs> oh, Old nice. School. Well, MacBooks are MacBooks are good for that. So they're pretty solid. I mean, the, could the video be better? It could, but it's not. Could it be worse? But it works. It could. It could, but it's not. It could. I th- yeah. think it's great. I yeah, think you've done a perfect. fantastic job. I mean, shit. Job. Thanks. <laughs> so, Kelly. Let's see. What do you have in this discussion, discussion here? I don't know. It's in red. I don't know. I don't know. Why don't you talk to me about this Blue Stem Amphitheater across the river? It's, I will do a, that. It's a beautiful outdoor venue, it sounds like. It is. Yeah, it sounds like it is. Thank you. Uh, I'm glad you asked about <laughs> Blue Stem. Like uh, <laughs> Blue Stem Amphitheater is a right across the river in Moorhead, Minnesota, and it is a about a four thousand capacity venue. It's got probably two thousand or twenty five hundred reserved seats, and it's got uh, some bench seats in the back of the amphitheater that are made out of like stone. It's kind of cool. You should. Uh, oh, uh, really? It's got one of those. Yeah. yeah, it's really cool. If you Google Blue Stem Amphitheater in Moorhead, it'll come up. Um, it's a, just a beautiful venue. It, it, I, I always tell people it's my favorite venue because it has the best sound out of any venue I've ever been to because it's built as an amphitheater, like a natural. Yeah. It's not natural all the way they built it as an amphitheater, but it's sloped and it's got the back that kind of traps the sound in. And every seat in the whole place is a great seat. You can see from anywhere you sit. Um, and it, it, I've seen anyone from Joan Jett there, Tony Bennett, um, OAR. Tony Bennett. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I saw Tony Bennett, like an afternoon show. It was like a 5 PM show. He sang for like an hour and a half and he was done and it was great. Um, who else have I seen there? Weezer saw Nelly there on a really chilly night in October, three or four years ago. (laughs) Thank you. So I had to get my charger. Oh, perfect. (laughs) My laptop went, Hello. you know, it was fully charged <laughs> oh. when I came oh, in. There you are. <laughs> okay. um, and then, God, I, and I worked at Jade Presents for like two years. So I saw a bunch of shows there. I worked all those shows for free. He didn't pay me extra for those. Uh, John Prine, Wilco, saw Breaking Benjamin there. Uh, after I stopped working there, I saw Incubus, which you were talking before about Ooh. the guy who like has got the stage presence and commands like the people's yeah. attention. My Brandon Boyd from freaking Incubus, dude, that guy is awesome. Uh, <laughs> like, I'm in he, love with Brandon Boyd. So I don't awesome. have celebrity <laughs> crushes, but Brandon Boyd I mean, is, yeah, yeah. I mean, did I have a yeah. crush on him that night? I sure did. How uh, could you not? Dude is awesome. Not? Like his voice is still there. His stage presence is just top notch. I mean, I, my, I, my friend and I, Justin went to that show and like, I told him about it like the two days before, I think I told him, I'm like, dude, I bought tickets to Incubus. We're going. He's like, what? (laughs) Yeah. And we had such a great time. We took the shuttle bus to the show. I didn't have to worry about parking, any of that stuff. And it was a lot of fun. That was, I think the last show I saw at Blue Stem actually, that was, God, that was Summer of 2019 was my last show at Blue Stem. So, so you go there quite a bit. Yeah, I've been there a lot. And like my wife and I have seen OAR there probably three times. Um, really into those guys. They put on a great show. And, and uh, the true test for her in concerts is if she doesn't know a lot of the band's music, like the first time we saw them, and she's still like super into the concert and entertained, like that's like a great band in her eyes. And a band like OAR, they just put on such a great stage show and live show that 
if you know, even if you don't know their music, they're just super entertaining and super good. Yeah, um, their songs so, are very like they're easy to listen to. They are, yes. Yeah, they're just happy, just like kinda... fun, good time music, <laughs> and like their live show is just incredible. And so, that's probably my best show out at Blue Stem. Uh, it was one of the OAR shows. I've seen the Avett yeah. Brothers, but it was not at Blue Stem. <gasps> they did play there. They really? did play there. Oh, yes. so jealous. Oh. <laughs> you have God. to see those guys. They're incredible I bet I would concert. cry at one of their shows. You should cry. They're freaking incredible. Um, oh. I, I saw them at, indoors at the Fargo Civic Center uh, four or five years ago. But I want to say we, we've seen them more than once. But they played Blue Stem, I think, two years ago. But we didn't go for some reason. I don't remember what happened or why we couldn't see them. But yeah, Ava Brothers, top notch. Two Fonzies on that one. No <laughs> two okays. Fonzies. Two Fonzies. <laughs> Couple finger guns too. Yeah. <laughs> what about you? What's your favorite? <laughs> what's your favorite venue in your neck of the woods? Um, so in Norfolk, Virginia, we have a really cool venue called the Norva. Mm, Norva. Cool. Norva I get it. Yeah. Um, but it's a cool name too. It's an indoor venue, and it's like. So the, the big one to come to around here is the Virginia Beach Amphitheater. Mm -hmm. It's yep. got it. It's got all kinds of different sponsors now. So I don't know what it's called, but that's like Who the knows? one that's got, it's like your typical concert venue. It's got the covered right. seats and the lawn. Yep. So that kind For of sure. big venue place. But I like, I like smaller concerts. I want to be able to see sure. the guitarist fingers yeah. on the strings like i want to be that close so i can see what they're doing so the norva is, is a smaller venue so you're you're a little more like intimate there you kind of feel more connected with the band um so i like going Love there that. actually a, a really good show that i saw there um actually might have been the last concert that i went to oh shit was um, or one of them at least like a, a big concert not a local show mm -hmm. but right newfound glory oh shit Nice. They were incredible. So they were like They're really, great. really good with like their fans. Um, I got caught in a mosh pit that ripped a chunk of my hair out and sprained my ankle at newfound glory. Like seriously, what was what was wasn't going like, on there? It wasn't a Pantera show. <laughs> Are you sure? That's what I'm saying. I was like, the <laughs> fuck? We had to leave like before the last song oh, because damn. my ankle was swelling so much. But they they noticed this one guy in the crowd that was singing to every single one of their songs. Okay. So they brought him up on stage and showed him what? their set list. And they were like, this Amazing. is our set list. Mm -hmm. Any song you don't see on here that you want us to sing, we'll do it right now. What? <laughs> So he picked some fucking B-side song that the lead singer <laughs> had to look up the lyrics online because he didn't oh. even remember it. Yes. What? It was, That's crazy. It was amazing. But yeah, they, they put wow. on a really good show. I've also seen um, Bullet for My Valentine, nice. which was incredible. August yeah. was Red, Asking yeah. Alexandria. Um, nice. And then... I actually I went to I went there by myself one time to go see Glass Animals. Oh yeah, Are you familiar with them? Yep, I am. My sister loves those guys. Yeah, yeah. that was. I, I haven't listened to a lot of them, a lot of their stuff. But my sister like really likes them. They're you know like poppy kind of mm -hmm. like indie pop kind of stuff. Yeah, they're good. Maybe like sure. a little bit hip poppy, but yeah, they mm -hmm. they put on a really good show. And I I wasn't with anyone, so I didn't have to worry sure. about anybody or staying with. So right. I just was just dancing like the whole time like by myself oh yeah it was awesome i think I more it. people need to go to shows like that go by yourself yeah. dance by yourself mm -hmm. without knowing anyone there you're gonna have a, a damn good time that's true the last show time. the last show i went to by myself was andrew wk oh no way i bet he yeah. puts on a good show andrew let's wk get a <laughs> let's get a party going <laughs> Dude, Andrew WK is fucking <laughs> awesome. I love that dude. He's so cool. He's just all about having fun and partying. Like, how can you yeah. not love Andrew WK? <laughs> yeah. Shout out Andrew WK. He's got a new album out coming out like in the next few days, I think. He has a couple songs out from that album, but I think it comes out. Or it he has another album coming out? Days. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. He's, 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 he's put out music consistently since his first one, which many people don't probably realize, or maybe they forgot about Andrew WK, no. but he's still freaking cranking out the hits. 
But I mean, his first album is just awesome. I love it. But uh, I saw him at the Aquarium <laughs> in Fargo, which is a band above another band, another, which is a venue above another venue called Vinci's <laughs> Public, Public House. But it's the Aquarium's oh. upstairs, and it's, it holds like two hundred people. And he was doing a tour where he didn't have a band with him. He just brought like a backing track, and he just freaking sang over a backing track, and it was amazing. And I went by so myself. Like karaoke kind of. Yeah, but it was awesome. Like, he like the stage is like well, eight feet Andrew wide. Andrew WK, so of he could course. make it awesome. Like seeing like, Andrew yeah. WK, seeing Andrew WK in a small venue was just insane because he usually plays obviously bigger venues. Yeah. I saw him on Warp. I saw him on the Warp tour like in two thousand two or three. Can't remember. Anyway, but uh, just seeing him in like a two hundred capacity place, just going ape shit for an hour and a half, was amazing. But that's the only show I can can think of. It does. Yeah. He was on this tiny little stage and he had, I think he had like the keyboard and then like a backing track. So that's what he was doing. But it just went, I remember it going like super fast and people were just going nuts and it was sweaty and hot and just (laughs) awesome in there. Pre COVID, obviously. It was probably Uh, five years ago. Lots of spittle. Yeah. A lot of spittle. Tons of spittle (laughs) and a little bit of spit. A little bit of spit. But yeah, NWK, man. (laughs) Just awesome. Wow. Um, so I yeah. mean, it's a good time. So good. I mean, um, I've gotten really drunk at the the bigger ones, the Virginia Beach. Sure, oh, I bet. I bet. So I actually missed slip drinking not. outdoors. Oh, really? Because Damn. I well, I mean, I was there. I just don't mm-hmm. remember it. So <laughs> you probably. But saw I, them? I remember sitting in my car car for like two hours in the parking lot just being like i can't i can't drive yet no i just yeah, can't right i probably shouldn't have driven when i did and i got really sure. lucky but at yeah. least i waited at, at least, least my drunk waited. mind was like yeah. yo like, kelly I can't, <laughs> can't do this wait. yet kelly kelly don't do yeah. it <laughs> i was really disappointed because I, I went specifically to go see slipknot bullet for my mm-hmm. valentine actually opened up for them but it wasn't as good oh, as wow. the norva okay so Huh. Um, and then also when I went with my radio friend to that same mm-hmm. venue, we saw Def Leppard and Kiss. And, nice. um, I think, I don't know, we were, we were smoking too, smoking and drinking. You have to. And yeah, I think, I think I just, I mixed too much of those too early on. It's never good you know, to mix like, that much. If you're going to smoke and drink, you know, you got to do like a little of one. Right. You can't, you can't be, both. it can't be equal. Yeah. Otherwise you're in for a real treat, not a good treat. Yeah. But yeah. luckily he had access to like the VIP area. So we were just like, he did. out in the bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. It's incredible. Incredible. So those <sighs> were shows I should have seen that didn't, I did see Slipknot another time though, when they came okay. with Marilyn Manson. Oh, nice. So, yeah. That's, yeah. that'd be we, a hell of a show. Oh, Dang, I've seen Marilyn Manson twice. Although, also kind of fuck Marilyn Manson now because of all this yeah, stuff finding out about he's him. He's canceled now. But yep. I saw him in more of a two. Wow. Oh my God, this was another. <laughs> <laughs> you went to all sorts of realizations. This was another concert I went to for free. Of course. Um, because of someone Basist. I knew. I was, I was seeing a specific someone that was on Ink Master. And so he what? was getting hookups to things. And so he had tickets. <laughs> this is not this is not the one who did your forearm tattoo, obviously. If he was on a no, cluster. No, this I didn't have any tattoos when I when I knew him. Oh so okay. Back in the yeah. day then, huh? Yeah, yeah. He was I mean he was really cool. It just didn't, you know, it just wasn't going there. Yeah, just didn't for work. Us. But yeah. Sure. yeah, but I um I went to the, that Marilyn Manson manson concert which the tickets were like fifty dollars and nice. i didn't have to pay for anything so. that's amazing that's incredible. <laughs> nicely done <Not> bad. <laughs> you know it's like there's lots of perks to being sure. a girl you right. know the cons are having to shave your legs and whatnot but yes and whatnot. you know going to some free concerts yeah free concerts kind of even things out a little bit i'll shave my legs for that <laughs> <laughs> dina carter <laughs> oh that's funny oh, man. yeah there's, there's so, a quick quick little rundown of some of my shows yeah those are all really legit i like it so legit bringing us to legit. To legit. i don't know <laughs> what was the hand stuff for that hand stuff well from hot rod 
No, too le- no, no, no. From the original, like, MC oh. Hammer. Like, I don't remember oh, if too legit I'm- to quit. Oh, I don't know that, but I'm thinking of Hot Rod, who's like, it's too legit, too legit to quit, but now I'm unlegit, <laughs> so I must quit. <laughs> There's a movie I have to watch again, question mark? I haven't seen yeah. it in a while, but yeah. Yeah. I forgot about that reference. We're just going to need to start a separate podcast. Yep, the Nate for sure. Kelly show. <laughs> for, <laughs> the, the Tangents podcast. <laughs> for all yeah. the separate tangents. I love it. We'll just call it tangents. 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 So (laughs) people will know what they're getting. Yeah. They'll at least know what's happening. So (laughs) getting back to the rule list, we're on number nine. Hey y'all, go to the merch table. Just go to the merch table. All right. Support the artists. Buy the t-shirt. Don't wear it at the concert, but buy the t-shirt, okay? Buy it. Mm -hmm. That's it. Just buy some freaking merch. Who cares if you Put it in a drawer, never wear it. Just buy it. Support yeah. the band. That's where they get most get of their money anyway. Yeah, buy a sticker. I don't care. Buy a CD <laughs> that you're not going to listen to. I don't give a shit. You listen Who to that on Spotify anyway. Like, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Why did they make CDs? <laughs> no one knows. Just buy it. Just buy it. <laughs> so what buy was the last it merch? we said so. Buy it because we pay said so. Pay our bands and pay our employees. Pay okay? Them. That's we up to you, to customers. Them. I don't want to, have to tip the better, employees and the bands. Buy the ticket, buy their buy merch, it. buy their drink. If you're not spending a hundred and fifty dollars, when you come to fucking At knuckleheads and don't even knuckleheads, come. <laughs> don't even don't come. Even come. That one fifty is before your twenty five percent tip. By the way, yep, it is. Tip the merch table too. Tip it. Tip you the think merch that table. table's free? They're working for free because they're friends with the band. <laughs> So what's the last merch you bought, Kelly Thomason? Oh, gosh. Okay, I'm actually trying to think if I ever got merch from a show. Because that you I paid for. That I... <laughs> that for free because oh you're a God. woman. <laughs> yes, I have gotten a free CD and a free T-shirt. <laughs> of course you have. <laughs> You know, I didn't actually like, I didn't actually realize all of this until I'm having to like say it to you. And I'm like, sure. wow, I've had a lot of, I've had a lot of good luck with concerts and stuff. You've just That's worked sk- out pretty nicely. You just skated through yeah. life, going to concerts <laughs> for free, getting free shit from the merch table and not having to tip them, things like that. So what was the last thing you remember getting? We'll, we'll say what you got from the merch table, not um, if you paid for it. Last thing I got from a merch table, I, I think was a CD. That okay. I didn't pay for. You didn't, you didn't I listen to it. To, it was, it was a local. Actually, I did listen. I love this band. It was a. They're not a band anymore. It was uh-huh. the Dahus, is what they were called. Actually, the drummer from that band is in Demons, the band I was talking oh, about earlier. Yep, mm-hmm. he's, right. he's also the drummer in another band called Bennett Wales and the Relief. That's okay. a little more like I guess a little more folksy sure. kind of but not quite like they're still yeah. they've got like a really good energy and everything but um nice yeah but anyway i it was like my first time at one of their shows i'd gone to this venue it was a really really small venue which i love mm-hmm. so i'd gone there to see bare hands i've heard of bare hands yep mm-hmm. um i went there to see them which they're definitely a small venue band because i've seen them in a big venue sure. at the ted constant and they are didn't not work. a big venue really band. just didn't work yeah it's That's just too bad. their songs aren't quite as you know um and they were opening for yeah. holes and silver sun pickups and Cage oh Elephants. shit what so wait a minute I mean, wait a minute to... you saw all that those was, bands together that was at the ted That's not yeah even fair yeah, huh. it was it was awesome. Actually, oh my That's god, so cool. I I danced with the lead singer of Silver Sun Pickup. <laughs> what? Cage the elephant for like Jesus. maybe ten seconds. He danced That's around amazing. Me for a minute, and then he spun me away. He literally <laughs> he's like spun me off with you away. Like you're done. Wow, just, on to the next. Like, I didn't ask him to dance with me or anything. No, just but happened. he made it seem so, like he was doing you a favor, like that you had asked him or something, huh? Wow. I think he, he just saw a fan was just having fun and was yeah. just like, I don't have time for this though, so thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so you saw Bare Hands, Foles, Silver Sun Pickups, and freaking... And Cage the, the Elephant. And Cage the Elephant. That's insane. Which 
Cage the Elephant, like they're like anytime I listen to them on the radio or you know Pandora or whatever, I'm like, oh, they're good. I'm not going to skip their song or change the yep. station. Mm-hmm. They put they're so on good. a hell of a show. Really? Oh my god! One of the guitarists wow. was like out in the crowd, like playing with the Amazing. crowd, and like, nice. yeah, I mean, they. You want to talk about stage presence? Yeah, this really? guy, That's the awesome. thing, he's so tiny and he can move. <laughs> like he was like using his mic stand to like help himself jump up. I mean, this guy's <laughs> getting like, some Ugh. air. Wow, my That's um, incredible. my feet were sore, like had blisters from dancing in a cage to elephant. Damn. I thought I was going to leave hardcore. early. I went to see Silver Sun pickups, so I thought I was sure. going to leave after that. Yeah. Nope. Damn. Didn't it, do it. Yeah, it was a good time. Gosh, you know what? Wow, what a show. I, I'm glad that we're we're putting all this in one conversation because now yeah. I'm realizing all these good times I've thinking had. Thinking of all these. Yeah. Well, that's awesome, man. Yeah. That's a hell of a lineup too. Like what? When was this? Yeah, How it was like some was 96X spring fling. It oh, was okay. That makes it was, sense. I think five years ago, because it was the first Damn. concert that me and Ron went to. Okay. And he almost had to fight somebody. What? <laughs> <laughs> almost. Uh, some guy pushed me. And so I had to stop him from fighting what? this person so we didn't get kicked out because Okay, yeah. Yeah. Well this probably... this guy started like clapping in my face and oh, fun. to be like loud and obnoxious. So I like pushed his hands down from yeah, my face and for so sure. he pushed me. And Ron, who is like six foot four and is like oh, geez. huge. Sure. Okay. Uh, he just comes out of nowhere, and I, I saw the look on this guy's face. He's like, I'm gonna so murder the guy you that had quick. pushed me that was just like, <gasps> like, what did I just get myself into? Yeah, and why as would much I do as this? I didn't want to get in a fight, and I don't like fights, and I don't like seeing men fight either. Mm-hmm. They look really, right. really dumb when they do it. Yeah, it's really it's dumb. embarrassing. Um, <laughs> I was, <laughs> it was kind of like nice at the same time to be like, oh, I'm so protective he saved me like their asses like right <laughs> this guy pushed me and he just showed up <laughs> that's so funny yeah so that was like wow. one of my first early impressions of him too yeah that's a that's a <laughs> moment right there that's cool <laughs> yeah yeah nice. yeah it is a moment so but what about um what about you the merch. last merch i bought was um i bought a i bought a bright yellow t-shirt from the band the interrupters who was oh i love the interrupters yeah do you that's awesome i was gonna say who they are if you didn't know who they were but yeah yeah i know the interrupters yeah yeah ska band uh yeah pop punk ska band of like the fourth the fourth wave ska band they're bringing back the fourth wave of ska they they actually yeah you know what that's a really good the fourth wave of ska band it really i mean it really is you know like because the third wave was in the mid '90s with like Real Big Fish and Less Than Jake yeah. and the Boss Tones and all those guys. Fishbone is second and third, um, but yeah, the Interrupters, man. Um, they just got off the tour, the Hell Omega tour with Green Day and Fall Out Boy and Weezer, so they had a lot of exposure <laughs> on that tour. Yeah. Wow. A, okay. Yeah, they, had, they opened for those guys. That 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 showed that tour just wrapped within the last couple of days. We were supposed to go to that like two years ago in uh, in Minneapolis at Target Field where the Minnesota Twins play, and then it got moved. And then it's like we didn't really feel comfortable going during COVID, so that kind of sucks. Yeah. But I really still wanted to go, but I understand that obviously it's not safe as safe to do, even though it's outside. The Delta variant is passes easier. All that shit that we already know, you know. But yeah, interrupters. I bought yeah, a, all a, that dumb a bright, shit. Yeah, all that dumb shit. It's bright, like a bright yellow t-shirt with this, the Interrupters band on it, like in black and white with like their pink logo on it. It's pretty rad. That's awesome. So, yeah, it's cool. I like them and I've wanted to see them since I found out about them. My buddy Darren told me about them like five years ago and then they kind of started hitting it when they got on the radio and haven't seen them yet, but they put on an awesome show from what I've seen in the videos um, that I've watched on YouTube, like a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll see them eventually. It's probably not in Fargo, unfortunately. Even though, like, yeah. we've had ska bands play here before, of course, but just when I worked at Jade Presents in 2015 to 2017, I kept telling them, like, the booking agents, I'm like, you guys have to book the fucking interrupters. They're great. And I don't know how for... people, like, hate on ska music. Do you I'm know neither. a lot of people that hate? It's, it's rock music with horns. Like, what exactly. are you not? 
What's the problem? Appreciate how is that a bad thing? Here. Yes. How is that My not God. Cool? I saw <sighs> this ska band one time at um I, I think it was I think it was called FM Backstage. It used to be the Jewish okay. Mother. It was oh. it's actually behind the Norva. So it's like a really small okay. like bar venue. Sure. And I saw this ska band there called, I think they were called Stuck Lucky. Stuck and Lucky. Huh. This dude is just getting down on the yeah. trombone and it, awesome. i've never seen someone move so much with a trombone but he was <laughs> he was doing it it was like his dance partner like he was nice. just it was incredible i, I remember awesome. being at that show and just being like i kind of ended up there accidentally sure um and just like oh there, there's a band playing here tonight i guess we'll stay cool. and hang out and yeah. watch them and awesome. it was it was incredible. I remember thinking, how do people know? Yeah, like, stuck lucky. Ska like music. That. I just don't get yeah. it. <laughs> it's it's the, like, the thing about ska music is it's so much fun. Like, it's like yes. the most fun musical genre. I don't yeah. understand why people, more people don't like it. Like people hate agree. on ska and like, to me, ska never went away, but apparently it went away. So this is the fourth wave of ska. I don't know. Yeah, it, <sighs> it never went away in my Never heart. went away. So. Speaking of fun. <laughs> Me either. My heart always has loved it. Speaking of fun, what's number 10? What's number 10? Number 10. Okay, have fun. Now that Duh. we've yelled at you about everything you should do and then right? said to be kind at the same time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you've been waiting for this moment for more than a year. So enjoy the fuck out of it. Don't just enjoy it a Hell little yeah. bit. Enjoy the fuck. The whole entire fuck. The whole fuck. Come out early. Stay mm-hmm. late because you'll buy yep. more drinks and tip our bartenders more. Hell yeah. Dance, laugh, make a new friend, discover a new I band. Mean, I feel like I feel like make a new friend should have been last. Yeah, that's said, true. Dance, yep. laugh, discover a new band, make a new friend. Make a new friend. Correct. You're right. Dude, that's the writer in me. Yep. Like, that is the right. That's the right way to do it. <laughs> For sure. It's the right way. Ooh, some bands you wish more people knew about. Let's hear some. Yeah. Years. Some of mine. Well, the interrupters, even though they've been on the radio a couple times, with different songs. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with the gaslight anthem. Oh and, yeah. Or, I love the gaslight. Anthem. Yeah. Yeah. They're, They're great. great. Musicians. They're so great. And then I going like along with their, that like, little live videos. Oh, for sure. And going along with that, their lead singer, Brian Fallon, the gaslight anthem is no longer together technically but brian fallon has put out three solo albums that are really really great and uh throughout covid we we probably attended online like probably five of his shows (laughs) (laughs) he did so like he did like a bunch of live streams during covid i don't know if he's still doing them but um we did like it's like the brian fallon at home at home concerts and uh he would do like a certain album of the guest that anthem or a certain album of his he'd play all the songs and he would just basically shyly talk to the camera and play the songs. So it was a lot of fun to see him do oh, that. That's it was neat. kind of that yeah, was really yeah, neat. That was He's really cool. Pay, you know, pay the whatever twenty dollars and get to stream it and run it through the TV off our laptops or whatever. Hook up the laptop to the TV and play them. Uh, so that was a lot of fun. Oh, whatever. Uh, <laughs> oh, whatever. Forget about it. Uh, Brian Fallon, everybody. Got to get my glasses uh, on. <laughs> my glasses. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff like that. <laughs> Stuff like that. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, Brian Fallon and the Gaslight Anthem, I think, would be my number two, number one and two. And then um, also the Hold Steady, which I mentioned earlier, uh, Minneapolis band. They're kind of also influenced by, like, Springsteen. Um kind of east coast type bands like that and they live in they they are they're based out of brooklyn now so east coast Uh, but yeah they're the i think they build themselves as the hardest working or the most well-known one of the two bar band in america they're not really a bar band but they've always been a bar band i guess Uh, i saw them at the same place that i saw i saw them at the aquarium where i saw andrew wk like a sold out show with like 250 people crammed in this tiny little like narrow (laughs) bar this dive bar um, all it was sweating a lot of fun. on each other. Yeah, yeah for sure. So all yeah, mine are the whole and spittle. Sweddle and spittle and spit, official spit. Uh, so yeah, the whole steady, um, <laughs> the gaslight anthem and Brian Fallon. What are yours? I know we've already you've probably already mentioned some of yours, but if you want to reiterate them or come up with um, totally no, I got, ones. I got some different ones for this. Right on. Actually, some that I've discovered somewhat recently. 
I have cool. really good luck with YouTube. If I'm just nice. like checking out new music on mm-hmm. YouTube and going through the recommended videos, I mm-hmm. find some fucking bangers. So um, nice. there's this one uh, chick punk band that I've recently discovered called Destroy Boys. Oh, um, Destroy Boys. They are awesome. It's a, it's a rad name. Really awesome. Destroy yeah, Boys. it's a really awesome name. Yeah um they have my favorite song by them is called i threw glass at my friend's eyes and now i'm on probation <laughs> um <laughs> which most of the titles aren't like that but that's that, incredible that one's just so great um, kind of like follow boys titles are super long or they used to be super long and yeah, yeah and and ridiculous awesome. um it's really cool yeah they're really good and they just got like this nice gritty sound and they have mm-hmm. like it a lot of their writing kind of has that like teenage angst sure like Love it's that. a punky way in a very it's still very palatable for adults sure. i think okay like, I'm, <laughs> I'm 30 so yep. you know i haven't been a teenager for some time sure. now yeah and right. i still like listening to their songs like if they're more kind of like younger person specific sure. you still feel like you can relate because you're like oh i i remember feeling that yep. way what that was like yeah she's for talking sure. about it. and yeah fuck all these people like <laughs> fuck them um, um, and then another one, which is totally different genre, it's um, Pink Skies. Okay. And I, I think it's just one dude. So, like, I found him really? on YouTube also. Pink Skies. And he does, like, he makes a lot of stuff on his, his computer. But he has this one sure. song called um, Santa Barbara Fireflies. That, that one's really cool. It's got, like, this little guitar riff in it that starts with, like, it's like how the song starts so it's just nice. you know it's gonna be good from there and then cool. he has another song it's, that's a newer one of his and then an older okay. one is called waves and it's just waves. kind of like a more kind of like chill like sure. a more electronic kind of sound nice um so that like those are a couple i got off the top of my head yeah. there is no, that's one good. more that's actually like he's kind of up and coming right now and i think he's getting ready Mm -hmm. to tour with um machine gun kelly who i don't like ew mgk (sighs) gross ew gross (laughs) and honestly how is he with megan fox like the most beautiful person in the whole world i don't know (laughs) she's just she's a dream and it's weird yeah it doesn't uh, make any sense yeah i don't like it but whatever it's their life they can do whatever they want um yeah but it's this guy named Kenny Hoopla. Have you heard Kenny, of him? Kenny Hoopla? Yeah. Do you like like him. mid-2000s emo? Pop course. rock yeah. kind of? Mm-hmm. Okay, well then yeah. you love Kenny Hoopla. Kenny, I love the name. Kenny Hoopla. I think um I think Travis Barker has been like producing oh, him and stuff. He's, really? He's trying to get like the emo punk scene going yeah, again. He is. Well, I was um, gonna say I hate to mention it, but MGK put on a pop punk album too. His last album is like all influenced yeah, by like I heard early that, to mid two thousands song. It's like mm-hmm. run, run, run. Yeah. Okay, so he went know. from being whatever the hell he was before to that, I guess. <laughs> whatever the hell. Yeah, I, he, no I think before he was like some young dude who saw Eminem and he's like, I'm yeah, gonna be yeah. that. Is he a rapper? Is he a know, DJ? Like, I'm not even sure. Get off yeah. my lawn. Get, yeah, is he an actor? Off, like what is what is he yeah, trying, I trying to do? Don't know what he is like, for sure. I don't yeah. know. Actually, I mean, it's cool when people are doing all different kinds of things. Yeah, I can actually really sure. appreciate that, but I just really don't like Machine Gun Kelly. Yeah, no, but he's... yeah, Kenny Hoopla is really good. He's got this song. I think if you're going to listen to any song by him, the first one you should listen to is How Can I Rest in Peace If I'm Buried by a Highway? Oh, wow. Also, I love that, one of his I love longest that, song titles. I love that you remember <laughs> all these freaking titles. What was that called? Um, how will I rest in peace if I'm buried by a highway? It's either how will or how can. If I'm buried I don't know. by a highway. But if you can find, if you could find the live version of that on YouTube okay. of him, he's singing in like a warehouse and there's only like okay. two other dudes playing. If sure. you can find that version, that's the best. I will. And I can find it. I must. Yeah. It's incredible. <laughs> but I'm kind of surprised like hearing his music that like, I'm not hearing about him like 
all over the place. So, really? Huh. Yeah. How long has but he been like an, act, an active? Popular. How long has he been like an an active uh, member or not member? An oh. active musician. I'm not sure. Yeah. I only discovered him this year. Okay. Um, but he's like, it seems like he's starting to get more traction. So I think he's like nice. getting ready to be big. The next, the next it thing. Seems like he's already getting there, but sure. And especially That's cool. if you're doing stuff with Travis Barker. I mean, right? You must be pretty legit. Shit. And now you're touring with MGK. So a lot right. of the people yeah, are you must be on, hear your well shit. on your way. Yeah, everyone's going to hear you. Because your for shit. some reason, a lot of people are going to MGK concerts. But... Yeah, I don't get it. I sorry, don't I don't MGK know. fans. Sorry, not sorry. You can do whatever you want. It's just it. not for me. Listen to it. Listen so, wow. It if you want, I don't want it. We've really run the gamut of topics, huh? Yeah, I think we've. <laughs> Yeah, we didn't just talk about these concert rules. We covered like yeah. a little we bit. Talk about it. We talked about everything. Um, I guess that's the list of 10 rules. So you're welcome for that, everyone. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> according, according to Knuckleheads Kansas City. Shout out to you, Knuckleheads. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> you Knuckleheads, you. <laughs> knuckleheads. Like, I feel like I should be like the fourth <laughs> stooge or something. <laughs> So we kind of covered the last, I had a few more questions. We kind of covered the last concerts we've been to. Um, what concerts did you have tickets to and had to sell or get refunded for because they got moved and whatnot? Or what concerts did you have tickets to that got moved two years ago? Anything you can think of? I don't, I don't know if I've ever like missed a, a concert. Like, like because of COVID. I mean, like if you had tickets like in you know, oh, early 2020, definitely. what's that? So look, when COVID started, everyone's like, oh, how's everything going with quarantine? You being home? I'm like, I'm mm -hmm. home all the time anyway. Nothing has sure. changed for me. Right. So I just hadn't, I hadn't gone out in a while. My, my anxiety was like hitting me really hard. I had like a bout yeah. of depression thanks for to the sure. anxiety. Yep. So, and I just kind of and started there. coming out of that when, yeah, I'm sure you can relate. Mm -hmm. um, I was just kind of coming out of that, like when COVID happened. So it's just right. kind of like. Well, now I can't do anything. You know, that right. I feel like I can. <laughs> yeah, for sure. That makes sense. Yeah, it's just one of those weird. But what about you? Things I had, like, I had tickets to. I was gonna go with some buddies down to Sioux Falls, South Dakota, below North Dakota. As you could probably <laughs> tell by the name, South Dakota. Uh, we're gonna go see. Rage, <laughs> we're gonna go see Rage Against the Machine. Oh, uh, down there nice. and uh and run the jewels i think was going to be opening and they got they got Ooh. moved and i don't even know they got moved again i sold my tickets i like did the ticket master buyback thing and just sold them i'm like i don't even know when this damn concert's going to happen or if i'm even going to want to still go so i ended up getting the money back yeah. i had bought four tickets you can only buy four so i ended up getting like the six hundred dollars back which is pretty cool uh, six hundred dollars for, for the four yeah total but still i know right I'm just I remember like four divided by 600 is more than a hundred yeah. per ticket. Yeah. So. It's insane. I remember back in the day, I saw the Rolling Stones with my, my mom and dad and my brother and sister. And this was 1998 and the tickets were $68. And that was the most I had ever seen a concert ticket cost. Like $68 is like yeah, low end insane. for a big show now. Yeah. Now oh it's God. like. $200 to see Bruce Springsteen. I saw him for $35 like 20 years ago. You know, it's just, it's weird. Get off my lawn though. You know, it's, it's the prices, <laughs> the prices have like quadrupled in for concert tickets. It's insane. More than quadrupled. Yeah. It's pretty know. unnecessary. Yeah, it is. But so I don't know. So the last question, what are some concerts that you're looking forward to? Are there any, I don't know. I don't have any that I have tickets for. Joan Jett is playing in West Fargo on this Friday, but wow. um, we're not going to go because of, you know, all the shit that's happening right now. So that right. sucks. She's like one of my favorite it's artists. Popping off again. It's popping. Yeah. So by the I time this comes still, out, um, it'll have happened. Yeah. She's still going. It will have happened. I saw wow. her. That's incredible. I saw her two years ago. I think at, we saw her at Blue Stem favorite venue two years. I think two years ago. She's awesome though. She's still got it. You know, you know, you know, Do you yeah, have anything coming up? Have... <laughs> I know there's, there's like a lot that's like coming up. I know there's some shows in Richmond, Virginia that I can't even think of right now that I, I know I want to see. I know Ron, my 
my boyfriend, You're living? husband, yeah. whatever you want to <laughs> call him. Um, <laughs> my ride or die. Yeah, uh, my ride or die, homie. <laughs> that actually sounded the worst of all the things I said. So let's not go. Ride or die. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, he's the one that's usually like, looks like Kelly, this show, we got to go to this show. Yeah, and uh-huh. I'm like, yeah, but we don't, we don't have like, we can't just go to these shows mm-hmm. every weekend we got kids and oh, the tickets are like 75 dollars, and we mm-hmm. got to take time off work and it's just yeah. like yeah i want to go too but it's not it's a whole happen. thing no it's not it's yeah. sad so i just as soon as he tells me about a concert i just don't even lock it in because i'm like well it's yeah. not gonna happen right it's not gonna and like for so, me like i was thinking when joan jett was first announced i was like oh that's gonna be awesome it'll be like our first concert back and blah 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 but it's like it's hard for me to accept that it's not going to happen for us you know what i mean like because i was looking forward to it kind of like cautiously but it was like one yeah. of those things where yeah it's just probably not worth it would just be around a bunch of idiots you know that don't think covid's real and don't give a shit about it so i don't know who knows what the next one will be right i don't want to wear masks i don't still don't want to wear masks it's and been... like no, nothing's mandated around here as far as in public besides like the Fargo schools, but like, otherwise right now there's like no mask mandates anywhere. It's kind of like a free for all. So we've been getting, we've been getting yeah. uh, our groceries delivered for like a year and a half and we're probably not going to go back to not getting them delivered. Cause it's just so slick. <laughs> like through uh, Instacart, it's just so handy. Like, Oh, we need this. Oh, we'll just go to the app and we'll get a bunch of shit. We don't need and the stuff we do need. It's like pretty pretty cool i guess i don't know it's kind of one of the cool things to come out of the the pandemic is like discovering instacart and sticking with it (laughs) yeah i used to do this um grocery store around here harris teeter like they were one of the first ones that could do the pickups where they would shop for you so i was doing Mm -hmm. that like like years ago because when my daughter was really young it was much easier for me to do it online and go pick it up than yeah bring a two-year-old into a grocery yep. store <laughs> and have her so, wandering around and yeah yeah i want this nice. i want this i and, want this i want all yeah. this candy i want these toys these grocery store toys which still are like you know kids still want those even still though they're grocery thing. store toys yeah do i want metal yeah, handcuffs from the grocery store yeah i do plush thing and you're like i don't you don't need that yes you really <laughs> don't need this squishy you don't bald it's gonna get covered in dog hair and then you're yep. gonna lose it and food and then i spent yeah. eight dollars on what on a oh, i'd rather buy you eight candy bars yeah like, go for this it stupid Sounds great clouchy ball like yeah right i mean grocery store toys i've always this is like a whole weird thing but i've always thought it was awesome and funny that they sell like legitimate metal handcuffs at the grocery store have you ever seen these at the grocery store toy section like hand, actual handcuffs, um, like kids could buy handcuffs if they wanted, and adults. I can't, I, I can't say Nate that this is a scenario that I found myself in before. God damn it. The um, um, get your the ass to the grocery, the grocery store. Grocery store. <laughs> That's an episode. <laughs> handcuffs at the grocery store. What grocery store do I need to be going to to find these? Hand- Usually, I go to Nancy's Nook for that if I need handcuffs. <laughs> and- <laughs> is it really called Nancy's Nook? It's called Nancy. It's that's like the store in our area. Is is Nancy? That's incredible. There's other ones like we have like the Love Shack and stuff like that. Um, Pink Banana Boutique. I love that. We have a place called Romantics with an X on the end. Romantics. Oh, they don't have three X's. They should. Just the one. What? Just the one. They're. I'm gonna go vandalize their building. They can put two more X's on there. They're very straight and to the point. Just the one X. Yeah. We got a place called fantasies but it used to be called fantasies but they had to change it to enchantesies because fantasies was already taken somewhere else what the hell is an enchantess uh, i don't know i feel like maybe you could have done a little bit better there's i mean there's all kinds of sexual puns out there, there so many you don't need to make up a word called correct enchantesies enchantesies so yeah shout out to enchantesies and uh yeah (laughs) any other places i hope they got some good dildos there because (laughs) they probably do if they didn't the name is awful it's terrible so you better be getting what you pay for there better be i i better be all 
enchanticized by the time I walk yeah, out of that place. They're making up words. We're making up words. It's fine. Yeah. And it's <sighs> a free for all. It is. It's a free for all. <laughs> kind of like this podcast episode, right? It's been a free for all. Kind of like this podcast episode, fun. which I'm sure is going to be fun for you to edit. <laughs> <laughs> it's been three hours. My wife's probably like, what the it's fuck is he hours. talking about in there for three hours in the, in the office? I know. I had to get Ron to bring me my laptop charger. Hilarious. It was fully charged when I came in here. Yeah, it's like not happening. And I was like, oh my God, I'm not even sure if he's going to be awake. And I just text him like, yeah. can you bring me my charger? And I, I hear him walking down the hallway. I'm like, yes, he didn't yes, fall he's asleep. Al- he's still there. He's well, it's been late. fun. I don't know yeah. if you want to do like, if you want to do like some plugs for your show and stuff right now, if you want to talk about like, where they could, people can find yeah, you on Instagram. I guess That's I should cool. do that, right? Yeah, why not, um, right? Yeah, so I have um, I Need Friends, a podcast about whatever. If you just listen to this podcast, you know why I need friends. It's, it's become pretty clear to you. Um, <laughs> 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 no, I just, you know, I like to talk about all kinds of random things, whatever topic is on my mind, whether it's something serious or not serious anything from parenting to life experiences to random facts about things you didn't even know you wanted to know about but you want to know um i have an instagram i need friends underscore pod uh you can email me at i need friends pod at gmail.com you send me an email be like i heard you on nate's show and you suck never come on there again (laughs) terrible um i haven't gotten any hate mail yet i have not gotten one piece of hate mail i've Send gotten a one star mail. review with no commentary so oh, yes please that's almost worse yeah like, send me why? some hate mail i really i if if no one is hating me i don't feel like i'm doing it right yeah what's gonna motivate I gotta you piss at least one person off so yeah. H- haters be motivators right come on yeah haters be motivators so if i yeah. if i pissed you off today you know send me an email send nate an email yeah send me or her an email yeah Either be like, one nate, or both. who's that bitch on your show <laughs> <laughs> well everything on the rocks podcast.com is where you can find all of our stuff i don't remember our handles for half of our stuff because there's different ways we had to write them so go to on the rocks podcast.com just search on the rocks podcast look for the Heavy metal horns with the glass like this. Just look for that. Just that exact thing. Sideways. That thing. <laughs> <laughs> that thing. Well, Kelly, I want to thank you for being on the show. This was awesome. This went three hours because it went well, right? It's not because it yes. went shittily. Yes. <laughs> I mean, so I, I feel like I would have come up with an excuse to get off by now had it been going <laughs> shittily. <laughs> right? Shittily. I love that word, shittily. It's probably Should not be. officially a word, but we'll we'll go with it. Um, so yeah, it's thank one you. Now. It's one now. We made it a word. So I'd like to do this again yeah. sometime, whether it be on your podcast, my podcast, a different podcast, whatever. We'll figure it out. So yeah, definitely. Yeah, and thank you get you. two two Fonzies, okay? None of this okay stuff. Two Fonzies okay. for you. I'll give you the finger Double guns. thumbs up. <laughs> finger guns. <laughs> Thanks again, Kelly. We'll talk to you soon and I'll let you know when this episode is up and live. Sound good? Let me know. All right. Yeah. I'll do that. We'll talk to you later. All righty. Okay. Bye. (laughs) Bye. Yay. That was fun. Yeah. I always do the fake ending. I don't, I don't ever know if people want to do the fake ending, but it feels weird to not do a fake ending. Like, I feel like you have, you have to, you have to yeah, say an actual really like so. see you later type of thing, but yeah. Yeah. And then you make it look yeah. like you're okay. I'm clicking. Yeah. We're done. I'm going to do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm glad we finally got to do this. It was fun. Yes. Yeah. It yeah. took, took a long time, but finally, God, when did it. you first reach out to me? Do you remember? It was, you know, I think it was probably around May, April or May. I don't remember for sure. It might've been sooner. It was off look. that long ago. Yeah. It was a while. It was a while ago. Yeah. God. Oh it's no, it was, it was, oh wait, actually, no, I think it was before that. No. Cause you emailed me first. Cause I'm looking at our Instagram yeah. message. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like, I did email July. you. That's right. I did email you. You yeah. sent me this message when I didn't show up for that recording. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's hilarious. I figured it was something like parental that you did. You know, you had to tend to tend to it younger. Yeah, it usually is. Usually yeah. is parental. So 
Yeah. But it is <laughs> almost 11 o'clock. Yeah, I should let the, you go. On the sure. East Coast. On the East Coast. Yeah, so. I forget. It's like 940 here. It's like almost 11 there. Get your yeah, kid to bed. I make sure Get your my man to bed. Get yourself oh. to Oh, there goes the camera oh, again. No. Classic. Oh, no. It's like Kelly Come right back. there. <laughs> Come back, Nate. <laughs> hey, I'm here. <laughs> it won't stay. Okay, it won't on. stay. You got this. The pillow I believe in you. I believe in you. Okay. Mm. All right. I was wondering how you had that rigged. Like it wasn't clipped. It was like pillowed to it, huh? I don't think there doesn't look like there's a clip on this Weird. thing. It just kind of like hangs. Be. Why isn't there? It just hangs over the top, like the edge. Weird. Yeah. That makes sense. It's got though, I guess. that folds down, but yeah. but it's not. Weird. It doesn't have much of a lip on it. I need oh. more of a lip. Strange. Need more lip. Oh, more of a lip on it. I have to have it like if I want it to stay. Then I'm like, yeah. And you're like, hey. hey I'm down here. Weird. Hey. <laughs> so, hey. Yeah. Crazy. I don't know. All right. Well, it work, you know, but... I'll let you know when this is done editing. I'm not going to probably edit much of it, to be honest. It's long, but fuck it. Like, if people don't want to listen to it, they can stop they can, or listen yeah, to more of it. You know, or... yeah. It's kind of like it. Kind of sucks when you have to edit so much stuff. Anyway, you know, whatever. Yeah. That's why I don't even do edits. If I don't yeah, like that exactly. episode, you're I lucky. Just, you're I have lucky. to record yeah. it again. Yeah, just record it. It's fine. Just do a one take, one 30 minute take. <laughs> All right. Like well, it, take though. care of yourself and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, Kelly? Talk to you soon. All right. All right. Bye, bye for real this time. <laughs> yeah, bye for real. <laughs> See ya. Thanks again. All right. Bye.